a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In the synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit who cried out, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out. All were amazed and asked one another, what is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Two quick thoughts. We're reading from Mark's gospel this year, and in Mark, Jesus centers most of his ministry around the town of Capernaum, where we are today's gospel. It is in Capernaum that he chooses his first disciples. He does his first teaching, and he performs his first miracle. And throughout Mark's gospel, you'll hear him keep coming back to Capernaum. Secondly, There are two lines in today's gospel which I think are particularly poignant for you and me. First of all, the crowd says that Jesus teaches with authority. They don't accord that honor to the scribes or the Pharisees, even the chief rabbi, but they know that Jesus speaks the truth. And secondly, as they listen to his teaching, They turn to one another and ask, is this a new way of teaching? Why? Because he was teaching them the opposite of everything that they had been taught about their religion from birth up until the present time, and yet they were finding it appealing. Now fast forward 2,000 years. There is certainly no one speaking with a clearer moral voice and authority than does Pope Francis. And yet Pope Francis is beginning to teach us different things than what we were taught growing up. When I was growing up, I was taught that communion was a reward for being good. If I was good, I could receive communion. And there were certain people who couldn't receive communion. Pope Francis is saying that's wrong. Communion is the food for the journey of life, and everybody needs to be fed. Take a copy of the bulletin with you today. I put some excerpts in there from the conversation that the German bishops are having about gay people, even to the point where they are asking, should the church not be blessing gay unions? That is very different from what I was taught. And so I wonder if like the crowds in today's gospel, we should be pulling back and asking ourselves, Is this a new form of teaching? Amen.